And unlike other parts of the country, the Omicron surge in COVID cases has not peaked in Utah. According to a top doctor at the University of Utah Hospital, their facility remains full and staffing is thin. But as new specialist Jed Bull shows us, caregivers remain determined in their mission. Right now, statewide hospitalizations for COVID-19 are at record levels as caregivers deal with the steepest surge in the pandemic so far. The associate chief medical officer at University of Utah Health tells me that that's taking a toll on caregivers, but they give what they have every day. They're essentially moving mountains to do what it is that we do really well. Dr. Kenzie Graves is part of a team responsible for putting the pieces in place to care for all patients, COVID and non-COVID. Since the pandemic began, she says, it feels as though it's been all COVID. It's been really hard the last two years, I think for anybody in the world and healthcare specifically. And so I, I just keep coming to work, showing up, supporting our teams and hoping I can make things better. That's challenging because of staffing shortages due to people quitting the profession and COVID illness among caregivers. And so a year ago, we were doing what we are doing right now with more people. That adds to the fatigue for those who remain. They're outstanding team members. We're really in this together. And I think honestly, a lot of people really just see that this pandemic is going to um, evolve, right? It's not going to cripple us forever. Some beds remain closed because they need more doctors and nurses. So they prioritize care. And make sure that we can get the most urgent patients in as fast as possible and then come up with a plan for the others. The physician says Omicron may be milder for most patients, but that's not necessarily true for everyone. And so we have had a number of patients that have been seriously ill as a result of COVID-19. And many of those are people that did not get vaccinated. Calling on the community. Do everything in your power to stay healthy. Which includes getting vaccinated. The doctor tells me that the vaccine gives us the best opportunity to avoid serious illness and death from COVID-19. For KSL 5 News, I'm Jed Bowl.